financial modeling beginner series. There are only three videos in this series and you will learn how to make a three statement basic financial model starting from a blank excel sheet. When I get 100 likes on all the three videos which I am sharing, I will release financial modeling for intermediate. This can be a really good start for your financial modeling journey. Learn Excel. Second is you will learn finance, the statements. Third is you will gain a lot of business understanding. Many courses, they teach you Excel and they teach you finance. They are, it's happening in silos. So what I'll do is I'll break this silo. I'll teach you Excel plus finance, both together. You'll enjoy and then there will be only one thing which will be left to understand. And that will be this. You need a lot of business understanding to ask good questions. Your objective is to train yourself to train your brain. Do you remember the first time you did cycling? You were very conscious. But today when you do cycling, you can talk on a phone with that. You can talk to your friends with that. What happened actually in the brain that now you are able to do it really easily. So in your brain, there are neurons which are responsible for learning. Okay. If you want to learn new things, you need new neurons. So when you are learning to cycle, there is a pattern which is forming in your brain. First time you did it, a pattern got formed. Second time you did it, a pattern got formed on the same thing. Third time, a pattern got formed on the same thing. You are repeating, you are consistent. 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 You see the pattern grows bolder and bolder, stronger and stronger. And it is very easy to recall now. There are only two, two steps to learn anything new. Only two steps, revise, recall. If you want to train your brain to learn financial modeling, you need to revise. It's, it's not like I'm going to teach here, you're going to see it like a movie. The proper way is to revise. Go back, revise. Try to recall what we did in the session. Try to do it on Excel sheet. Make Excel your friend. So guys, I hope you liked what I told you and you understood how to train your brain effectively. I will share some exercises on Excel, which I'll do, which will take you from a very basic level to a good enough level, which is required in the next two videos uh, to make a three statement financial model uh, from scratch that is from a blank Excel sheet. So, you know, again, I'm saying watch this video till the end. Why this blue cell is called C2? It's called C2 because the column is C while the row is 2. Similarly, the red cell is called C3 because the column is again C, while the row this time is 3. So C2 into C3. So the price is given to you, the quantity is given to you. You need to find the revenue. Uh, but one more input is given to you, that is the growth in revenue. You have to find revenue for the next five years. First will be very easy. So the first is this multiplied by this, and then you have to grow it by 10% every year. So this is year one. And then I can say this plus one and I can copy and paste. I typed in one and then equal to this plus one. And then I can just copy this shift, right, 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 enter to paste. So in financial modeling, we are going to forecast different financial statements. Revenue will be the first thing that we are going to forecast. These are our assumptions. So essentially what we are doing is we are forecasting the revenue based on these three assumptions. Like maybe this is equal to this and then what? So if you want to grow anything, if you want to grow your money or let's say you have 5,000 rupees today, right? It's today. And then in one year, if it grows by 10%, it will be 5,000 plus 10% of 5,000. So that will be 5,500. In third year, it will be 5,500 plus 5,500 into 10%. So when I say this, that we are doing what? We are doing compounding. It is nothing but if you have X amount today, it will become X into 1 plus G after one year. G is the growth rate. It will become X into 1 plus G square after one more year. And then it will become X into 1 plus G cube after one more year. So if you see here as well, in this section, 
you can take 5000 common and it will become 1 plus 10 percent into bracket that is 1 plus g we want this g to be fixed right this, this g is to be fixed so this g we will be fixing so i'll do it in one step one single step please pay attention this multiplied by bracket start 1 plus g and you want this to be fixed if you don't fix it and just copy and paste it see it's not growing you can see that the link to this 10 percent has moved right as well so in this formula we linked this specific cell and this specific cell but when we pasted it towards the right it moved this move to the right this also moved to the right so this moving to the right is fine uh, this moving to the right is fine because we are compounding but this moving to the right is not good because it's you know we need this to be fixed we need this 10 percent to be fixed and to fix it we use f4 key in your keyboard if it is not working then you can use function plus f4 so while i'm typing this formula this multiplied by one plus ten percent i'll fix it over here itself by clicking on f4 see what happened when i click on f4 there are two dollars now that means the cell is now fixed the cell will not move if i paste it ahead wow if you do f2 to edit this f2 f2 if f2 is not working use function plus f2 so first we found the revenue for the first year very simple price into quantity second we said we want to grow it one plus growth rate and f4 to fix it and then you can copy and paste it ahead select these revenue numbers and type control one you will see a dialog box like this in front of you over here you can see in category general number currency accounting so you have many different categories i'm going for number right now when i click on number i see that it's asking you for decimal places do you need any decimal places you can see the sample also at the top point ke baad, after the point you can see there are two zeros if i reduce this you can see there is only one zero one over here if i reduce it further you can see there is nothing after the point so I like it in this fashion. And then this is saying use comma separator, 1000 separator, that is comma. If I click on this, you can see the sample what happens. See, there is a comma. Yes, it looks good. So I want it in this form. It looks much better and easy to understand, easy to recognize as well. Let's understand the power of compounding using symbol numbers given in front of you. You can see 100 is growing by 10% to 110 and then again 10% to 121. You can post your doubts in the chat box, in the comment box, and I will personally get back to you. Interest, if you think about simple interest, you will say that okay, 100 rupees, 10% is 10 rupees, add 10 rupees, 110. Again, add, add 10 rupees, it will become 120. But there is one rupee extra here, that is the power of compounding. Now, can I say that this is nothing but 100 into 1 plus 10%? And can I say that this is nothing but 110 into 1 plus 10%. This is moving ahead like this to this. This moves, this moves, no issues. It's perfect. While this is fixed, that is the reason we used F4 to fix it, dollar signs to fix it. You are getting this 1 rupee on the 10 rupee you got in the second year. The extra 10 rupee you got in the second year, you are getting extra 1 rupee in this sense select this go to control one go to custom in custom instead of general you have to type something like this in inverted commas year out of the inverted comma zero i can see it's looking much better now i am able to see that this these are yearly forecasts guys i urge you to do this on your own because these are the building blocks and these are very very important while you make a financial model now we will look at one more uh, exercise have a look and try to do it on your own and if you are stuck please let me know in the comment section in the in exercise two there was only one growth that was growth in revenue here we have two different growths growth in price and growth in quantity try to forecast the price first uh, use the growth in price and forecast price 
use the growth in quantity and forecast quantity price i'll grow i know how to grow it this into 1 plus 10% fix that 10% and i'll paste it ahead similarly i'll grow the quantity i'll fix this 5% and then i'll paste it ahead control 1 number once you do this it's done you just paste this ahead no need to do anything else using these assumptions we need to find revenue for 5 years so i said revenue is nothing but price into quantity and then i need to grow it but there is no single growth given to us for revenue we can't simply add and say 15% growth rate we will apply we'll get wrong answers so what we did is we used 10% to grow 10% to grow price and we used 5% to grow quantity and then i can just paste it ahead so i have price and quantity for all the years now can i find revenue for all the years yes i can price multiplied by quantity for the respective years so if you go and check any one of these you will see that it is linked properly so guys i hope you like the session next video is about the four steps that we follow to make a financial model i am very sure that you are going to like that as well so please watch the whole series and please like the videos as well if you if you are liking it then you can share it with your friends whom you think will also would benefit from this thank you guys